Are you back in your favorite place? Ah, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> Some more projects coming, guys. He's studying his wood. What is he doing? Hey. What are you doing? Are we working on I'm something today? I'm saluting my flag. What are we working on? We're working on... We're working... No! Do we have a project? Look! I didn't know we were working on something today. Yep. What are we doing? Well, I gotta clean all this up, get all this loose That's stuff out cool of here. That's a cool piece of wood. So, right up here, we got an area that chipped oh, out. So, um, yes. How do we get to fix that? Well, I think what I'm going to do is take the sander and sand this down really smooth on both sides and I'll use a piece of silver tape and then that'll just get filled in with the same color as this. Where I you? have an idea. What do you have? What do you want? Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Instead of just filling that with a color, what if we fill it with an ocean? Like a beach and the water and the waves and then flood coat this whole thing with a food grade resin. That would work. Do you think that would look cool? I think it would look good. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up. Mm -hmm. All right, so we went through, cleaned all the rough stuff off, all the loose stuff off. Went down, got all the bark off of the edge. We were gonna fill this area in up here with a piece of tape and fill it in with silicone, but I think it's gonna look resin, better. Resin, not silicone. Well, resin. I think it's just gonna look better like that. So now what I'm gonna do is clean this off on the back. Got all the dust off of it. And we're going to tape up the back side of it. So I got to let that dry first.
All right. And wait. What? Okay, now we're live. Oh, okay. So live, what are you doing? Live. So I've mixed three ounces. What? Oh, come on now. Come on. We take the back as you can see. So we're going to try to avoid leaks. I just laid it in a pan with parchment paper. I don't think it's going to leak. And because I want to do a beach scene on this one, I don't want to do the beach scene in deep pour resin because that's too much time to cure and it would all meld together. So I have this fast set um, resin by Let's Resin. So I'm going to pour it about halfway. And then we're going to let this cure and then we'll pour the beach scene on there. So I'm, I don't know. This is my idea. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but this is what we're trying. The whole thing eventually will be covered. We're going to cover the whole board and everything in resin. And you'll see the clear, but you should see the beach colors through the back of it. And I think three ounces actually will be perfect. I didn't know. I didn't want to measure it with water because we have tape in there and didn't want to measure it with rice because then and the rice will stick to well, the tape. Well, we're going to plane off the back anyway with the planer, but... With the what? With <laughs> the planer. Say it again. <laughs> Can you say planer sexy? Stop. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not even too concerned about bubbles, but I'll pop bubbles in with a torch and then be back to pour the beach when it's cured. All right, friends. Talk to you later. He fought me for the torch and he won. It's going to take a while for those bubbles to surface because it's really thick resin. What you doing? Well, since you did everything else, I'm playing. You're painting? Well, I'm painting the edge. That way it'll lock the bubbles in and we won't have no bubbles, no problems with bubbles later. Great idea. I know, you like that? Yeah. Okay, everyone. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I don't know what you're doing. He doesn't know what I'm. So I ran this through the bubble machine, the airless, the resiners airless, and it got all the bubbles out. And this is more than they recommend. So that did great on this particular resin. I'm going to mix sand. I've got two colors of alcohol inks. Um, I'm going to be using my Armor Art white for the waves. I have some other things out here I'm not sure I'm going to use, so I'm just going to kind of jump into it and see what happens. So I am going to put some clear on the bottom just to start it off because this is kind of deep. I mixed up six ounces. Some, oops, I do want some white set aside.
Time for coat number four. One, two, three. Coat three. So I mixed up two ounces and I'm gonna add another wave, possibly two, I'm not sure. But I've been waiting for this to get nice and thick. It's been about 30 minutes now. And it's kind of thick. I've got my white ready, but this time I'm going to use my airbrush instead of the heat gun. And we'll see if the airbrush will work. So let's let's see how it goes. Let's see. It's really warm in this cup, so it's probably ready to... I don't want it to, like, move that much. I won't need all of this. Is that about good placement for the wave? Or some mm -hmm. down a little more? You can see it running a little bit still. It doesn't matter, it's, it's not running this way though. What I'm saying is, do you want the next wave here or up there where I have it? I'd say up here where you have it. Okay, let me get a little more in this corner. waves aren't exactly perfect. And then we're going to let this one cure. And then we're going to work on the back before we finish the front. Um, let me use this. Grab my airbrush it's a masterpiece not yet I don't want too much weight well, you're in control of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, guys, here we go. Is that high or low? High. That's high? Marvelous, darling. Absolutely marvelous. I want a little bit of line, though, of white. If you could break that up a little bit like that right there, that looks really good. See if you could just break that up a little bit with it. There. I think we need our fingerprints in it. No. Hi, people. Hi. All right, so what we did, this is what it's looking like so far. Looks pretty good. Now what? Well, we're gonna run this through the planer and clean this back up. So we're gonna run it through the planer.
Are we on? We're on. Hi. Hi. I'm going to get close and personal. All right. So this is where we're at. We hit the back with the planer, sanded it down, nice and smooth everywhere. A little tape, we we're trying some stuff. This front, we got it all done. I'm gonna go over just the wood area. We got some little scratches and stuff in there, so I'm gonna go over it with a 240 and then a 400. Let's we'll see what happens. fabulous people out there the torch has been passed to me because he hasn't top coated anything yet and I do them all the time so I'm gonna treat this like a massive coaster wait what are you doing what I wanted to come and watch oh he wants to watch so I'm just going to fill this part in first and then I'm going to coat the rest so if you've never top coated a coaster now's a good time to learn because there's plenty I've ran this through the bubble me Re bubble remover machine if you are interested in that there is a link in the description for that and we will get I don't know if four ounces is enough I really hope so otherwise you're gonna start you better start stirring some more up for me
beautiful people. So what we're gonna do, I've got this sanded down. I don't think it gets any smoother than that. We're gonna use Odie's oil, which is 100% natural, so you don't need gloves. Food grade. Food grade. Polisher. <laughs> Oiler. Gotta mix it up. Oh, that smells good. Can you guys smell that? Smell it. It smells really good. We're the only channel that has smell-o-vision. <laughs> smells like flowers. We are back. Well, this is my front. That's my back. But you get the point. All right, so we got a board for you. We just finished up. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. You got your eyes closed? All right. The sun isn't shining on it. There it is, guys. It's all done. You could put a light through it. The back as well a little starfish and shells in there deep blue water coming up to the beach think how you can see the light shine through it there there you go that's it for this one everyone we're working on the next one there's the back nice and transparent i'll get you some finishing photos like we always do and this is going up for sale we're gonna start it at five thousand dollars. Oh, okay. That's too cheap. If you want it, let me know. It definitely won't be five thousand dollars. I know it's worth a lot more than that. <laughs> I worked hard on that. All right, y'all. Have a blessed day. Love you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.